ladies and gentlemen, please take a comfortable seat and please get yourself a bowl of snacks because Annie would like to introduce you to Joe Matt Baxter Best Shine. But fair warning, ladies and gentlemen, for the second half of this video, please put the snacks away because I'd hate you to splatter your screen or keyboard. Hi, Annie, he said. Hi, Arise, said Annie. That's an unusual name you have. And obviously, you'll realise, but by the time I came to make this video, he'd changed his name. I can't remember what it was originally. It might have been Arise, Baxter Best Shine. Actually, I think it probably was. To which our man replied, New hope in life. New year means new hope in life. New year brings some new strive. But amidst the new things, there is a strange happiness within. Of all the things so special, of all the things as seen, celebrate this time for sure, because New Year is here. Happy New Year, Pyridan, said Annie. How are you, he asked. Oh, we've got flu, said Annie. How are you? Good, he said. How's your family? Oh, you think having flu is good, do you, said Annie. Oh, I'm sorry. Please, he said. This was New Year's Day. OK, she said. How is your health? he asked. A bit better, thanks. My headache isn't so bad, she said that evening. Again, did you seek for doctor help? he asked. May this year bring new happiness, new goals, new achievements and many new inspirations to your life. Wishing you a year fully loaded with happiness. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, said Annie. Good morning, he said the next afternoon. Give up everything in the world, but never give up on your dreams. For those you don't have anything to dream about, don't really have anything, he said. Now what are you droning on about? asked Annie. How are you? he said. Leave back all your troubles of yesterday. Look, God has sent a brand new day your way. So enjoy it to the fullest and be happy all the while. Make others happy too, as and when you get the time. Good morning. I oh, know, why don't you just talk to yourself, said Annie. Oh, wait, you are. How? he said. You're just copying and pasting paragraphs of babble. That's how, said Annie, who then copied and pasted some Hamlet. Horatio, tis but our fantasy, and will not let belief take hold of him, touching this dreaded sight twice seen of us. Therefore, I have entreated him along with us to watch the minutes of this night, that if again this apparition come, he may approve our eyes and speak to it. I didn't copy and paste, said our man. R-O-F-L, said Annie and I'm Queen Nefertiti. So she copied and pasted the bits where she'd found what he'd said online. Goodbye, she added. It's really pleasant, he said. Mornings are really pleasant. Cease all your worries in the day. Make the most of it today. Do what you feel like doing. Of whatever things you're seeing, life will be good. Then, early in the morning, good morning. More copy and paste, said Annie. Hello, Ellie he said. Hi. Oh, disappointing, said Annie two days later. I was waiting for another copied and paste paragraph of nonsense. I thought, you're a responsible being, he said. But you're full of shit. It's not me that's just copying and pasting stuff, is it? Said Annie. You haven't said anything for yourself yet, but I live in hope. She carried on living in hope for a few days. Until, nine days later, he came back. Moving on is the only way. Moving on is the way to lead life. Letting go of things is a reason. Why you need many new things. Why we have that craving in life. When you feel so down and out, don't lose your way in the crowd. Remember, there are other things that let you be how you really are. You will have a reason enough to shine bright like the star. Just keep your hope and you will see the things that will remain in be. Be more hopeful in your life. And I think that was meant to be a poem, but he'd managed to omit all the line breaks. I guess I'll carry on living in hope, said Annie, but with little expectation. Hello, he said. How's your day? Nice to meet you. Your thoughts are the biggest source of inspiration in your life. Your thoughts can take you to a positive direction. Your thoughts can motivate you in the right way. It goes without a say that your thoughts can change your life. So have good thoughts in mind. We will. Said Annie. How are you? he asked. 
I'm mean, very well, thanks. OK, he said. You're so beautiful and pretty. That's very kind of you, said Annie. I think he's better when he copies and pastes, isn't he, really? And why did you change your name? continued Annie. Change my name? he asked. Sometimes in life you have to stop worrying too much. Close your eyes and just let your life take you wherever it has to. When you open your eyes, you'll find yourself in the best place you could ever be. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I suggest you put those snacks out of reach. Make sure that any drinks are swallowed. And make sure that you're continuing to sit comfortably. Because either a different member of the team is about to take over, or our man has been, let's just say, partaking of something that possibly he shouldn't have been. Yes, change your name, said Annie. You weren't called Joe, Matt, when I started talking to you. Honey, he said. No, that wasn't your name, said Annie. Would I regret it if I asked what you do? And I do mean it, ladies and gentlemen. Fair warning. No, he said. OK, what do you do? I did, because I wasn't allowed to use Matt when I wanted to open Facebook then. I'm Joe Baxter from Orlando, but living in Jacksonville. I'm pilot engineer by professional, working with Delta Airlines. As a director, Annie copied and pasted the bit about I did because I wasn't allowed to use Matt when I wanted to open Facebook then. I have no idea what any of that means. Could you explain, please? Because she hadn't put two and two together. And she thought he was answering the bit where she'd asked him what did he do. You asked me, why change my name? Said our man. Yeah, and you questioned it. What has that random sentence got to do with your occupation? Tell me what a pilot engineer is, please. I've heard of pilots and I've heard of engineers, but I've never heard of a pilot engineer. A Europlane, he said. Flight engineer. You're in a Europlane. What's that? asked Annie. Flight engineer, he said. OK, I don't know what a flight engineer does. Airplane or aeroplane, he said. Me then? That doesn't tell me what you do. Or are you saying you're an aeroplane? A talking aeroplane, to which our man replied, OMG, why don't you tell me what you do? Asked Annie, to which our man replied, helicopter. You're a talking helicopter, said Annie. Helicopter engineer. And what does helicopter engineer do? Asked Annie. This gets worse, ladies and gentlemen. Flight, he said. You can fly. Yes, he said. You're a talking flying helicopter, or do you wear a flying suit? Also, I repair them. So you're a helicopter, a self-repairing helicopter that can talk. You can Google it, he said. Google what? Self-repairing helicopter? Yes, to know the meaning, he said. Why can't you tell me you're the one doing the job, or don't you know what you actually do? Or maybe you're just a bot. Honey! I'm flying jet, he said. A talking flying jet helicopter that repairs itself. Bab, he said. Yes, I do. Who's Bab, asked Annie. This is awesome, I've never met a self-repairing jet helicopter before. That's what I does, he said. Oh, you does, does you? Fancy that, said Annie, I'm in awe. Where is your jet engine, Annie asked, dreading the answer. See, he said, what are you doing for living? Where are you living? Are you single or married? Though I see you as a responsible woman. I'm your supermarket engineering thingy work person, said Annie. Now you're back to saying you're a pilot engineer. So let's start again, shall we? I don't know what a pilot engineer does. Could you tell me, please? To which our man replied, yes. Followed by supermarket engineering with lots of question marks. Then. He thought he might try calling her. Hello, oh. so you're going to tell me what a pilot engineer does then? So what? Are you going to tell me what a pilot engineer does? Take that as no. Are you going to tell me what a pilot engineer does? What? 
I said, are you going to tell me what a pilot engineer does? Oracle of the show fits. Oil fits. Sorry, I can't hear what you're saying. I'm sorry, what? I can't hear what you are saying. Why can't you show a face? What is a pilot engineer? I can't see your face either. So Why it's... can't you show your face? Presumably because you're too much of a coward to do it. Annie replied to him saying supermarket engineering lots of questions. She said it's like pilot engineering, but you do it in a supermarket. Are you going to tell me what a pilot engineer does, please? So he tried calling her again. Are you going to tell me what a pilot engineer does? Because there's no point in call keep calling me if you ain't going to talk to me, is there? Why can't you show this? Why can't you show yours? Why? You called me. Why can't you show yours? And why can't you tell me what a pilot engineer does? I'm not going to ask you again. I've had enough of you. You're just a time-wasting idiot, aren't you? Said Annie. I'll ask you once more. Show your face, he said. What does a pilot engineer do? He tried calling her again. Right, I'm not ans I'm not going to answer you again. If you won't show your face and you won't talk to me and you won't tell me what a pilot engineer does, then I know you're a time-wasting idiot. Right, so you've got a count of ten to turn on your camera. You're just a time-wasting idiot. Goodbye. If you show your face, then I can, he said. And of course, you realise that if she had shown her face, he wouldn't have shown his. He'd have cut the call anyway. No, said Annie, you call me. A gentleman should go first, but you're too much of an idiotic coward to do that because you have no idea what a pilot engineer is, do you? You're a time-wasting, childish idiot. At which point, as you can see if you're looking at the screen, a man blocked Annie. I hope you enjoyed this tale of a scammer who just doesn't have what it takes. At least, I hope he doesn't. If you did, please like it. Please share it. Please comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And I'll see you again in another video.